we sit back and say, I'll let somebody else do it. We can't let somebody else do it. We've got to go out and do it ourselves because this country is worth saving. Do you agree with me? After this campaign has been out for four years now, for four years, they have shut down our growth. Policies that have destroyed this country, that have bankrupted our country. Maybe we lose this election if we sit back and say, I'll let somebody else do it. We can't let somebody else do it. We've got to go out and do it ourselves because this country is worth saving. Do you agree with me? That's what this campaign has been about for four years now. For four years, they have shut down our growth. Policies that have destroyed this country, that have bankrupted our communities, that are destroying our families, and they made us take it. Tomorrow, finally, for, for after all these years, tomorrow, finally, we get to make our voice heard. And tomorrow, we say, we're taking back our country. Tomorrow's the day. This is our time. Let the great American revival begin right here, right here in Missouri, and right here in Ozark. Do you agree with that? Let's start here. Let our voices be heard here. They want an open border. We want to close the border. They want to give away our energy to China. We want to take it back. Solutions don't begin in Washington, D.C. I've seen that. Problems begin in Washington, D.C. Solutions begin right here. Where's the strength of this country? Right here. Where's the soul of this country? It's right here. And where will the great American renewal begin? It'll begin right here. Or what you will say is, it was a time of trial. It was a time of challenge. It was a time when the future of our country was on the line. But what a privilege to be called to live in such a time. Do you agree with me? Yeah. What a privilege to be called to live in a time when our lives matter, when our choices matter, when our courage matters. Do you agree with that? Yeah. This is our time. I just think of the fact what a privilege it is to live in this time. I see veterans here in the hall tonight. If you're a veteran, would you just raise your hand? We're right here, right here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. To defend. Thank you for putting your lives on the line. And now we have the privilege, just as these men and women who are here tonight and have worn the uniform of the United States and gone to stand on the This is the time. And this is the hour. So now in this moment, in this moment of significance, let's be worthy of this hour that we've been called to. And let us say as we look back that 2024, November of 2024, was a turning point moment. It was an inflection moment. It was a moment when the United States of America began to change. Amen. It was a moment when the United States of America began to come awake. Yes. It was a moment when we began to rise up. Praise it was a moment when a new great revival Praise began in this country yes. that again made us strong, that again made us independent, that again made us proud. And let them say it began in the heartland. Let them say it began in Missouri. Don't begin in Washington, D.C. I've seen that. Problems begin in Washington.